I'm Hope Watts. I'm the Director of Transportation for Lynchburg City Schools. So I oversee all things school bus, all of the routing, all of the scheduling, uh, making sure our kiddos get to school safely and back home every day. Lynchburg has the perfect topography for electric school buses. We're only 52 square miles, so we are pretty condensed. So no matter if you're on the opposite side of town and your battery's low, you're able to get back in, across town quickly. I actually heard an interview about electric buses and their benefits and reached out to the school division and said they should look into it. And I was informed they had already submitted a grant to obtain the fleet that they just got. So I was pleasantly surprised to see the school system being proactive. So Lynchburg City Schools used the EPA Clean School Bus Grant in order to obtain these buses. Lynchburg City Schools received $9,875,000 for 25 electric school buses. We also received an additional 500,000 for charging infrastructure. And additionally, we're applying for the IRS tax rebate that will get us up to $40,000 per bus. The abundance of funding is what made this possible. Without all of the grants and tax credits available, it's not something that Lynchburg City Schools could have managed at this time. Yeah, I think those federal programs are really important because Frankly, they take a lot of risk off of the communities and the states that want to try things differently. And it allows cities and counties to be able to say, we want to try something out that we think is going to work for us. And they don't have to bear the total cost risk. We know that the, on a daily operating cost, uh, we will be buying less diesel fuel. On the net, uh, we'll be saving about $150,000 a year just in fuel, but that also doesn't include savings as related to maintenance costs. As we know, electric buses cost less to maintain than traditional diesel buses, and you know, we know that uh, there will be opportunities to have further savings as well. Every single day we are driving school buses into neighborhoods where people live and we understand that you know, emissions do impact the neighborhoods that we serve and so these electric school buses reduce that entirely. My kid actually has asthma and you know, any form of air pollution is pretty bad for anybody that has sensitive lungs and to be able to know that you're putting a kid on a bus that's not going to have any emissions like that makes a difference for kids. So our bus drivers were a little apprehensive at first. It's something new, something different from what they're used to. But as everyone has driven them, by and large, people come back and say, that's fantastic. I think the students enjoy the, the, the quietness, the heating, and the air conditioning are awesome. So it makes them more comfortable. They're used to hearing the diesel bus coming around the corner. They can hear it before I even get there compared to the electric bus pulling up all quiet and stuff like that. I think um, at the end of the day, you know, you guys to adapt with technology and having electric buses is one of those things. And I think it would be a good thing for the school district. I think it's a wonderful opportunity to move into the future. Eventually, it's going to be inevitable. So I think it gives us a head start becoming familiar with the buses. So when everything is implemented, we'll already be ahead of the game. We can sit around and we can talk about the pros and cons forever, or we can put boots on the ground and make it happen. So my advice to other districts looking for this is to reach out to other districts. There's so many people that are out there that are willing to help. Go visit somebody that has electric buses, drive them, see what their setup is, and know that it can work for you.